Hi friends, this is Abby from Abby's Bookish Life and today I am filming my May plan with me in my bullet journal. This is my first bullet journal video I've ever made, so please forgive the shaky camera and the hand placement and the changing of location and the changing of cameras. I'm obviously still learning and every time I record something I get a little bit better, so be patient and hopefully next time I record a video, it will be much better and easier to watch. Now, in my bullet journal so far, since I started it in January, I have had a Disney theme for each month, and I try to be kind of vague when I do my Disney themes, so it's not too over the top. But this month, I decided to do an up theme, and I started the cover page by doing this cozy drawing of their chairs, Carl and Ellie's chairs, because we're home right now, the chairs just seemed like a really cozy idea. And then I chose the quote, adventure is out there, because it's the most common quote from the movie and because it's nice to remember that adventure is out there still. I'm using the Tombow Dual brush pens from the pastel pack for most of the coloring in this video, and I'm using the blender pen that comes with it, the N00, and the colors I used for this spread specifically are 761 for Carl's chair and 062 for Ellie's, and then I used 451 for the lamp. The brown that I'm using here is part of the Crayola Super Tips 50 pack. It's really cheap and I highly recommend it. It definitely changed my bullet journal game. I'm drawing the most iconic image from the movie, in my opinion, which is their house on Paradise Falls. And the pen that I just showed you was the Micron 01 pen that I'm using for detailing in this video. For the May calendar page, I go with the same layout pretty much every month where I just have a box that is six by six for each day. And then I drew the mailbox at the bottom that normally says Carl and Ellie, but it put, I put Brent and Abby because that's mine and my husband's name. I ended up not liking what I did with the May cover or with the May calendar page and I changed it after I finished filming, which you'll see that in my bullet journal so far video that I'm filming right now. And to do the fence, I used the Tombow Dual Brush Pen N95, and then I cycled through the pastel pack, the rainbow colors, to do the days in my calendar. And I used this rainbow theme with the 553 color and the brown to kind of tie it all together throughout the spread. Next is my brain dump page, and I use my brain dump page more than any other spread in my bullet journal. And to decorate it this month, I put the grape soda pin and the Paradise Falls jar. I like to leave it pretty open so that I have plenty of room to write down my thoughts. Next up is my mood tracker. And I'm starting by drawing the balloon cart that Carl uses in the movie. And to do this detail work, I'm using a Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen. And then I have another one that I use for the lettering in this video. And it's just easier to do calligraphy with. And I like to use the one I'm using now to do some of the more detailed drawings. This is my favorite type of mood tracker to do because it involves drawing 31 balloons or 31 spaces and coloring them in a different color for each mood that I choose. And I like this because at the end of the month you just have a full picture of what your mood looked like and it's colorful and fun to think about. So I just numbered it with from 1 to 31 so that I can color in the corresponding day. You can see at the bottom I'm making circles now and this will 
be where I put the five moods that I will be tracking this month. The five moods I chose were overjoyed, good slash happy, fine slash calm, kind of down, and very down. I like to put down instead of anxiety or upset just because it helps me stay a little more positive when thinking about my negative moods. As I mentioned before, I'm using this brown as an accent color to kind of tie in the spreads together so that it's not as chaotic with the rainbow theme. Next is my habit tracker. I do the same habit tracker pretty much every month. I do an outline of what the calendar month looks like. So it's seven spaces across and however many weeks tall. And I don't put the lines through the habit tracker. I personally just like to have a space for each day of the week and I can do that kind of mentally. I don't need the lines and it definitely saves me a lot of time to not have to draw the lines. And here I'm using the Tombow Food No Escape pen, the brush pen that's easier for calligraphy to write in Habit Tracker. At the bottom, I try to normally do some kind of doodle or quote to keep me inspired as I'm coming back to this habit tracker page every day. And so this month I went with a quote that I felt resonated with the up theme as well as with the habit tracker page. And it's a quote from Buddha that says, if you want to fly, give up everything that weighs you down. And I just feel like that was very inspiring for me to remember that there are some things you have to give up if you want to fly. And here I'm using the Tombow Duel, the Tombow Fudenosuke pen to do some detail work on the word fly, just to make it pop and stand out a little bit more. I added a little bit of washi tape right there. Washi tape is my favorite thing to decorate my pages with, and you'll see me add some in this video, but I go back and add more later after I'm done filming. And then I'm using the rainbow colors again to highlight the different habits that I will be tracking in my habit tracker. I didn't add the habits in because I haven't officially decided what they're going to be. So you'll see those in my flip through of my bullet journal so far video, but you won't see them in this video. Next is my daily summary page. I like to have a page in my bullet journal every month to reflect on what I did that day or what was great about that day. And it some people call it a one line a day spread. I used to call it that, but sometimes I would write more than one sentence and my perfectionistic tendencies would come out and I would get irritated with myself. So I now call it a daily summary page. And then next to it is my gratitude page. I designed these as if they were posters or pictures hanging on the wall of Carl and Ellie's house. And I'm using the Micron 01 pen to do some of this detailing.
Next, I'm using the N95 Tombow Dual Brush Pen. It's just a light, cool gray, and I use it to highlight every other line so that I can kind of separate the days since it, I do have one line for each day. It makes it easier for my eye to find where I am next. And I did the same thing for gratitude before adding some washi tape to the page. Finally, we are at my weekly spread. Now, I like to separate my bullet journal months by the actual first day of the month. So I'm actually starting this week on May 1st. Now, since May 1st is a Friday this year, it means that I needed to add a little extra room into my bullet journal weekly spread to fit all of the days of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then the entire next week in one bullet journal week. So what I'm doing is drawing a box for each day and then drawing a line four spaces down. And I draw that line because I personally like to separate my events from my tasks. So at the top, I'll put events or meetings or things like that. I am still going to online meetings, so I do need a space to track the meetings and the work tasks that I need to do. And then the bottom section I use for my tasks. I now have this punch bunch balloon puncher. I actually bought it when I got married to punch out a little bit of each wedding card I got. And it just looks like this. It's a little balloon cutout. And I would punch them out for all of the wedding cards I got and I made them into a craft so that I could save them forever. And it came in handy here as I am putting together this up theme. And I bought the paper for last month and it has all of the pastel colors that I was using already this month, so it just seemed perfect to use it for this. I'm sorry about what the video is doing. I don't know what it is, but I will hopefully have it fixed by the next time I, I film something for my bullet journal. I'm adding some drop shadows, and the boxes that are split exactly in half are my Saturday and Sunday. I don't have as many tasks on those days, so I just put them all in one just to save room. I don't end up liking what I do for the top of this page where it says May and with the washi tape that you'll see me put in. It just wasn't my favorite and obviously that May is not as clean as I would like it to be, so I do end up going back later and fixing it. And here's my final flip through of my May plan with me. I hope you enjoyed and you have a great day. Bye friends.